Hey guys, it's Helena. I hope you're having the most magical day. I thought I'd share with you my current simple slow living morning routine during quarantine in France. I'm a very deep sleeper and I like to keep some fresh flowers on my bedside table. So smelling these really gets me back into my physical body and my senses. Then I will drink a lot of cold water, which I put out the night before. Once I drink water, my body feels really refreshed enough to get out of bed. I'll put on my glasses so I can see, <laughs> make our bed, and quickly jot my dreams down. Alex is a morning person, so he's usually up several hours before me on the weekdays. I'll put on some fuzzy socks and a cozy sweater, and I'll roll over to my yoga mat. My spiritual faith and practice is the most important thing in my life, so I dedicate 45 minutes to an hour every morning for meditation, prayer, journaling, and just connecting with my intuition. I also leave another water bottle next to my yoga mat the night before so that I can continue hydrating and waking up my body. So I do a 10 minute meditation in silence and this connects me with my inner voice and the messages that are coming through for me. In case you are curious of how I meditate, I've included a daily meditation video that I created on my Patreon page. If you feel called to support me there on Patreon, uh, you can have access to this meditation as well as all my behind the scenes vlogs and content that I don't share publicly here on this channel. After meditating, I jot down any messages that I received in my meditation journal before opening my Akashic Records. On the harder mornings, I will do a deeper guided meditation with a few people that I like to follow on social media, and I use my headphones to block out any noise. But most days, I just open my records for 10 to 15 minutes. I've been reading my own Akashic Records for the past three years, and it's been a big part of my spiritual practice. Writing is also a big joy for me. I've been writing in notebooks since I was eight years old, and it's the biggest way that I process my life and the world around me. I keep three journals going on at once, one for intuitive messages, one for any visuals or guidance that I've received from my records, and a normal journal where I just record my thoughts. After writing, I will pull an angel card or a light worker card to get any additional guidance from my higher self. I'm attracted to oracle decks with lots of bright colors, joy, and light, and I just love the illustrations on these cards. I'll include my oracle decks in the description box below if you're curious. Also, some mornings I'll do five minutes of EFT tapping, which is emotional freedom technique. If I feel emotionally blocked or just not in a high vibe place, but today was not one of those days. Then it's time to get up and ready for the day. At this point in my day, I'm usually feeling really aligned and present, but I'm not exactly joyful yet. I'll head over to the bathroom and put in my contacts. Also, how happy is this hand towel? <laughs> So this is where I will start playing uplifting music and I'll sing and dance in the shower. I will often play Little Mix or Jojo or some happy song. Joyous music instantly lifts me up and moving my body to the pleasure of my soul is a big way that I wake myself up. In terms of beauty routines, every morning I put on natural rosehip oil on my face, I'll spritz on perfume and I'll put on the jewelry that my spirit feels called to that day. Every day has its own style and character, and today I was feeling sunny, so I went with my favorite yellow dress. My favorite style is that which is quirky, whimsical, and full of character and life. And luckily, a lot of my jewelry is secondhand or was given to me by my grandmother. Makes it so much fun to play with. 
It's very easy for me to be lazy if I don't treat it like an actual work day, so I like to get fully dressed with makeup, hair, everything. I do blow dry my hair to style it, and Alex and I will usually chit chat when he gets out of his class at this time. He's currently working from home during the confinement, so we get to spend lots of time together, which is so great. They say you're never fully dressed without a smile. <laughs> ah, my favorite part of the day. Getting fresh air and listening to the birds sing is a glorious way to start a new day on Earth. Getting outside is my favorite way to celebrate. Connecting with nature and grounding myself with the earth is my favorite way to spend my mornings. I have a special secluded spot in the mountainside that I have been going to every morning during quarantine and it's been very healing and rejuvenating for me. And of course, I will touch all the moss. <laughs> Moss is my favorite plant. It's so underrated and has such power and endurance. It can grow anywhere, even on concrete. If you're a moss lover as I am, you will love the book, The Signature of All Things by Elizabeth Gilbert. It's one of my favorite fiction novels and oh, I could just reread it again and again. <laughs> I'll read some fiction while I'm outside as well. Currently I'm reading Tender is the Night, which I checked out from the university library. I've had a gut feeling that France would go back into a second home lockdown in October since early July, so I've been stocking up on books months and months prior to this confinement. I just love escaping into stories of different worlds. This is one of my favorite quiet moments in my day. Simply placing my hands on the earth connects and reawakens my heart space. I just get filled up with so much appreciation when I connect with the earth. So breakfast is a weird thing for me. I, I practice intermittent fasting and most importantly, I practice intuitive eating. In other words, I only eat when my body is hungry. I don't like to consume anything until I get that first signal to eat. Not only does it give me more energy in my day, but I just feel lighter and clearer. But it's also just a more natural and intuitive way for me to live life. I drink hot chocolate in the mornings. If I'm feeling hungry, I will eat either eggs and avocado or fruit. Ah, oh, Christmas mugs make me feel so ebullient. So I drink out of this Christmas Santa mug all year round and oh, it gives me life. <laughs> making my hot chocolate, I will head out to my balcony where our neighbor's cat is already soaking in the sun's rays, of course. <laughs> she waltzed into our house the second night we moved in and she hasn't left ever since. Despite us always keeping the door fully open, she just doesn't leave. I love this moment because this is the part of my day where I'll just take the time to just be present, watch the world around me, and enjoy the morning view of the mountains. I really like to take it slow before I get started on my day's work, like cleaning the house, laundry, homemaking, writing, and content creation. So this is the way that I start my morning slowly. So that's it. 
that's my morning routine. Very simple, very slow, very intuitive. I really listen to my body and let my intuition guide me to each new thing to do that day. It's also very fun, very playful, and I really intentionally make room for play and joy in my morning, even though I am so not a morning person. It takes me many hours to wake up in the morning, but I find that by dancing, getting out in nature, having some hot chocolate, and um, journaling and meditating in the morning, it really sets me up for a good aligning day. This was the first time I've ever filmed my morning routine, so if you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps let me know that you want to see more of this kind of content, and it also helps to support my channel grow and help other people find it if they're looking for joyous, simple content like this. All about how I set myself up for joy, alignment, and I do it from this very intuitive, slow place. And if you want to see more content like this, whether it's day in my life, where I take you along my work day, or week in my life, or my evening routine, my slow, intuitive evening routine, um, let me know in a comment below if you want to see that kind of content. I hope you are having the most magical week, my friends, and I will see you next week here on The Simple Joys.